Hi everyone. I'm just There it is. The mic is on. Hi everybody. Welcome to Raid Mondays. How is it going? And the big news today is that solar eclipse. My goodness, did you all experience it? Were you in the path of totality and what did you see? Put your comments in. I'd love to know um, if you were in the path of totality or if you got a partial eclipse or, you know, whatever. Have you got any photos? That would be amazing. Um, I, I think we saw a partial eclipse and um, it was um, amazing. The sky was quite grey and um, it was um, like a like a bluey grey. But it was beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. And, you know, I think it's going to be my Celtic spell for today because it is very, very close to Irish culture and the Irish um, uh, were the first to record um, the eclipse and any eclipse at all in the world. I think it was as far back as uh, 530 BC. So it's very, very interesting. I mean, I was just so excited today because I saw this um, uh, this clip coming up here. I saw it on the New York Times and I thought it was so... So that was the path of totality, apparently. And I know my friends, the Harp Twins, um, saw uh, they had a few posts up saying that they were um, in Texas and they were on tour there. They are on tour there. Be sure and check them out. They're amazing. Um, and they had um, saw a total, totality, total solar eclipse. So that was very, very, very special and uh amazing really so i just want to read a little bit about uh the irish connection with eclipses here we go and um this is pretty amazing it was on irish central today and it says the irish recorded the first solar eclipse in 512 and the images of the first recorded eclipse were carved into the stone cairns of Loch Crew in Meath over 50, sorry, 5,000 5, years ago by the ancient Irish. Um, pretty amazing. It's hard to tell when the first solar eclipse in the world took place, but the ancient Irish certainly helped being among the first to document it when it happened. The Irish have a long and distinguished history with eclipses. Images of the first recorded eclipse were carved into stone cairns at Loch Roo in Meath over 5,000 years ago. But one of the first eclipses of the common era was also recorded in Ireland by an Irish monk on June 29th, 512, 512 in the Chronicle of Ireland. Our ancient Irish ancestors carved images of an ancient eclipse into giant stones over 5,000 years ago, as I said, on November 30th, 340 BC to be exact. This is the oldest known recorded solar eclipse in history. The illustrations are found in the Stone Age Carn L on Carban West, a Lockru at Lockru outside um, Old Castle in County Meath. And the landscape of rolling hills is littered with Neolithic monuments. Some say that originally there were at least 40 to 50 monuments, and others say that there are more like a hundred monuments there. So that is just so interesting to me, and I hope you found that interesting. I love it. Um, and you know, just to mix things up today as well, we're going to do question and answers. So I see all the comments are still 
coming in and we're going to get those comments up on screen and we're going to have a look at those and talk about them and also i'd love to highlight my chat with the fantastic alex sharp today we had a chat on the previous Maraid Mondays that happened during the pandemic, and we are so excited to be playing together at Cherry Peak Resort in July. And it is just the most amazing thing. I mean, we haven't played together for quite a while. And I'm just, that is, like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. <laughs> There is the QR code. And um, so it's actually three nights we're doing. We're doing three nights and it's going to be in the beautiful Cherry Peak Resort. I've always wanted to go there. I can't wait and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm just, I think the last time I was on stage with Alex was 2015. So I can't wait to be on stage with Alex again. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be three nights and it starts at 7.30, um, the 25th, 26th and 27th of July. So we can't wait and we're going to have a full band and it's going to be amazing. The amphitheater there in Cherry Peak Resort incredible i know a lot of you have got tickets already so it's just incredible i'm so looking forward to that and i do have a chat with alex coming up and i hope you enjoy it some of you probably remember that we were having some technical difficulties as always you know i mean that's the the beauty of it isn't it you know keeps us on us on our toes and um it was great fun to chat with alex so enjoy this while I get together our first tune today. Thanks! Yay! I've been here like the whole time from before it even started. And it said, you know, you're waiting in the backstage area, the host yeah. will add you soon. And I'm like, I'm getting very nervous. This is like, this is too close to like actually going on live or performing. I was like, what's going on? Well, look, do you know what, Alex? Thank you so much for, 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 for coming on. Obviously, there's technical difficulties because we uh, we had technical difficulties with Facebook as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping you might come on again at some stage for another Maraid Mondays. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you have time, Alex, that would be amazing. Look, to... Tom so says, sorry. yes. No, I it's fantastic. I know. And listen, it's, it's, well, it's, it's the platform and Facebook and YouTube and juggling lots of platforms, but you know what? Everybody is now absolutely delighted because I told them you, you were, you know, I, I didn't know where you were, but here you I are. Was <laughs> I was here and I was like, I'm sure she knows I'm here. I'm sure she's laughing at me, fixing my hair. I, I was sending messages here. on my, so this is, this is a little bit of behind the scenes guys. So here I was on my phone, <laughs> on my phone, frantically texting Alex, uh, where are you? Where are you? Your song is and on. I'm, <laughs> and I'm watching, the, I'm watching it here on the computer because I'm like, this is weird. Why have not you added me yet? And I'm watching you live here on YouTube. On oh, oh listen, wrong. Alex, let's let's <laughs> let's be thankful for what we have and and we are all so very thankful that that you're here and everybody look D is woo <laughs> and um, you know absolutely fantastic and you know you're you're your songs are amazing, Alex. Your Broken oh. by Design song, so many comments came flooding in. What, you know, that was such an inspiring song. And tell yeah. us a little bit, a little bit about it. That was actually written by um, two gentlemen from Utah, actually. They're both in a, in a group called Jacob's Creek. But oh. it was written by Jim Hollister and Ron Saltmarsh. And Ron Saltmarsh arranged all the music on the album, but they wrote that together. And it was kind of funny because I had another song on it that I had written and everything was kind of about the positive things about being broken, broken things yeah. in life and stuff. And it was just kind of amazing how it kind of all worked in. But I love the message of that song because, you know, we're all flawed 
and life doesn't always go how we expect or hope as you know particularly 2020 yes. and the thing is there's always there's always a reason for things and sometimes we just have to we really have to trust particularly you know our faith or if you if you believe in god or divine creator or the universe that yeah. you know these things are not sent, not sent to 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 break us down but to refine us that these moments will give us the opportunity to to grow and as you know like i was saying we become here flawed human beings but through those flaws we kind of go through a refiner's fire and we just need to trust and hold on to the belief that they're there for a reason and things happen in life for a reason you know so i love the message of that you know it's not it's not a negative thing that yeah. you know none of us are perfect and life doesn't go perfectly you know what a, what an amazing um what what an amazing video alex that must have taken forever to make because it's so stunning the production is beautiful there's a funny story behind that <laughs> that was that was so last minute i actually <gasps> so the, yeah so kind of like our broadcast today <laughs> That was <laughs> kind of like my like my life. <laughs> oh, it's going wrong. Okay, let's do it. But yeah, the executive producer, a name called a gentleman called Alan Kruskamp, an absolute sweetheart, um, brought me over to the states. Just to, to, he he financed the whole EP, and we were doing we were going to a studio just to record like a little kind of um, interview and to promote the video. And two of the guys in the studio, one of the two videographers, they loved that song, and they said. Do you know what? Would you be on for us to go out and video, do an actual music video for this? So I went, yeah. So they arranged to go to this farm in Utah, okay, and it was pretty cold. But they just did it on their own time. And they're from a studio called Vega Studios. Um, Brandy is the owner of it. And um, they came out, they, it was all their own time. They brought their own equipment they, and that was edited in the studios. And it turned out so sweet. Oh, oh my goodness just, it's just what a beautiful with the with the foal and the horses and yeah. the, the just oh my goodness it was just so epic so beautiful oh, so beautiful very kind. well i can't take credit for that that's all the guys work so <laughs> in, in fairness i just had to turn well, and twirl and say well in fairness alice you're uh, alex look in fairness you're very modest <laughs> well you know you know what it's like you're a pro when you get out there you do your thing it doesn't matter yeah and you know what i was just thinking actually it was this time um five years was it five yeah five no 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 ten years ago ten years oh ago God. when we did songs from the heart and i was just thinking sitting here in the studio when i was wondering what was happening it was raining outside and i was thinking because you because you showed us doing two colors and i was thinking it was this time in july the end of july when we filmed yeah. and it wouldn't stop raining it wouldn't stop raining and we were the poor orchestra were there with their instruments and you know i had you know matthias the, the violin and we were all going we're going oh my goodness what are we going to do you know it's and we were like we had to stop it a few times and go back and you know reroute again and you know it's yeah. just just uh it was you know an amazing time touring with you uh alex uh, on celtic woman just absolutely amazing and of course Likewise. jacob jacob was on on tour with us as well yeah <laughs> I know he was, he was six when we started when I started touring and he's 18 now and I was wow. talking to earlier on he's got a beard and he's I was oh. telling him right earlier on I, I was banned but I wasn't allowed to use TikTok in fact he <laughs> took it off my phone so, you know, people people say to me oh your sons think you're so cool and you know I'm like he's so embarrassed by me he's just like mom don't tell people what you do and don't listen when you're dropping me off somewhere, like I have to drop them off like outside somewhere or outside the school because, you know, oh. he, he thinks people think he came into the world without a mother. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The farm in Utah. Oh, there. Everyone's talking about the video and oh. oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. And look, Alex, you're doing an awful lot um, uh, with your uh, shine performance mm -hmm. art studio is now open up and you as you said um before you know you said it was just opened up before covid started and now though you're you're it's very good news you're going to be hopefully be allowed to get 
you know, some, uh, you know, restricted access into the new studio soon. Yeah. So at the moment, so what I'm doing online um, coaching like yourself, we've been doing that, which has kind of been placed before and the whole COVID lockdown, but because of the social distancing restrictions, I can't have as many students in here as, as I yeah. wanted because I, I want to do um, singing and drama because drama yes. is such a big part of my background. Yes. Um, but so, yeah, I, I, I think I'm probably be able to get maybe three students in at a time, but hopefully very, very soon. I reckon um, August will be, I'll be able wow. to start bringing students in because it's great doing the, the online, yeah. but I do miss the one on one because sometimes yes. it's very difficult to demonstrate something you kind of need to kind of show a person something in your own body. You know, yes. singing wise, which I'm sure is the same for you when you're teaching. Absolutely. It's great. Uh, yes. It's great Absolutely. The is there, but but it, I, it's my preference to work, you know. I know, I know. Good Look, person. it's it's it, it's like singing and playing live too, you know. Of course, yeah. we all do the virtual uh, things, and and that's great, you know. But it's 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 the commu communication and the community aspect yeah. of you know, and, and imparting your knowledge onto onto a student as well. And you know, you're you're so busy though online, and you're you're about to add on virtual meet and greets, VIP meet and greets onto your website soon. And your website is. Let's see. It's alexsharpofficial.com. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, because I keep getting requests and people want to talk to me. And so it's like, yes. okay, I'll, I'll, I'll offer that facility or that service. Service sounds a bit, a bit ominous. <laughs> but um, I don't know, a visit, that visit. And also going to do, you know, a birthday requests. And, you know, yes. I've been asked to do that before. So I've done those before. What, what a change is all made. What <laughs> a know, change. But in a way, that's kind of a, a good thing too, because when we used to do the meet and greets in Celtic Woman, you know, we would, we would get so little time with people because yeah. um, they had a lot of people rushed in. And I always kind of felt a bit bad because people didn't get to spend as much time or they didn't get to ask their question. Yeah. Or sometimes they were so nervous, especially young girls, they were like so nervous and I felt so bad for them, you know, because it got so tongue tied. So I guess with this, you know, opportunity for yourself as well, you know, people get to have that one-on-one -on -one time and they can, you know, ask questions or visit with you and, you know, in a more personal way where you, your focus is completely on them. You know, yeah, so. it's 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 it. That's going to be such a treat for everybody, Alex. And again, look, that's on www.alexsharpofficial.com, and that is going to be on soon as well. That's such a great idea, you know, because with with um with the lessons as well, we were talking about this earlier that people like to chat to, and and it's yeah. it's it's lovely to have the option of the VIP meet and greet on your website. So it might be something I might add as well. And thanks to you, Alex, for giving yeah. me the idea. <laughs> Oh, absolutely do. They'll be they'll be flooding in. I I have to tell people the first time I ever saw a parade, um, years years ago, not that long ago, but we were a bit, we were a little bit younger, and we were doing um, a, it was a gig with the concert orchestra, the Orty concert orchestra, and this was before Celtic Woman, and I remember seeing this amazingly stunning, petite perfection of beauty. I don't know what the concert was we were doing, and this was. And I just remember thinking, oh my God, she's the most beautiful oh, woman Alex. I've ever seen. It's true. It's true. And you, you, you still have it all. But yeah, I don't think I ever told you that. Oh, yeah, Alex. Thinking, you were. You were. I don't, I don't even know See, what I'm I'm, I'm gone red that. now. I'm gone red. Uh, so, so, so look, uh, Tiffany Moore. Pressure. Listen, look at this. Okay. Tiffany Moore, do you have a favorite memory from your days in Celtic Woman? Did you ever pull any tour pranks on each other? We did. I'm sure we did. I can't can't remember them offhand. Well, do you know what? Uh, favorite times, oh gosh. And Neve Murphy wants to know that as well. She wants to know our favorite, our favorite, you know, our, uh, any any memory from Celtic Woman. Um, I <laughs> Gosh, there's so many. Where would you begin? I mean, really, the opportunities I'll, I'll, I'll never have again in my lifetime. But I remember the first time, the first show that I ever went when I was filling in for Lisa. And um, I think it was in Texas somewhere. And I remember yes. um, before we before the show even started, the first kind of couple of notes started. And there was this huge applause. And I'm like, it was like this wall of sound. And that was phenomenal. I hadn't come across that before. You know, oh, you know. In, in musical theatre. You know, they wait till after the overture or they wait till after a scene. But, you know, and then it came out and they had all these banners, 
you know, saying, we love you, Mairead, we love you, Chloe. And it was like, oh, this was just a, a whole surreal phenomenon that I, you know, I'd never experienced. So that was, that was certainly memorable for me. And to, Red Rocks, Radio City Hall, those were amazing places too. Oh my gosh! Right. Yeah, everyone's loving your 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 virtual meet and greets idea. So so get so oh, yeah, I think you'll have a lot of people on for those. And you know, I think you know, I know that at one stage, uh, the the um the video we did, um, I think in in Paris Court, uh, I got stuck in the trailer. I know that. I know oh, I got stuck in a trailer. Oh, that's right. You didn't lock me in, did you? Because I I was summoned it. <laughs> It was probably, I don't know, it was probably the first violinist in the orchestra wanted to take your part. <laughs> I'll step up. I, I, I can't dance quite the same and, and play, but I can play. I can play. I've been waiting for years to take her place. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah we we had such such great times and you know look you know it's 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 amazing um the amount of stuff that you've done alex the amount of that beautiful video my heart was home that beautiful video that is so oh, beautiful yeah oh you're very you're so generous yeah. you're so kind you know um, that that song I, I i i love that song it's not a song that you hear very very often and it's so beautiful your interpretation is so beautiful oh thank you well david downs found that found that song yeah I and mean, we did yeah. the in the tour of songs in the heart not on the pbs but um yeah a lot of people really liked it and they seemed to really connect with it so that's why i put i put that on my first album um be still my soul it's on that album yeah. and yes it, Again, that was just that was all filmed in a house in London. Just yeah. that was another kind of well, let's just do a little music video, you know. Yeah, um, fantastic. I thought it was in your studio at home, but there you go. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my I, goodness. Did Alex show you how to open your camper door? I she probably did. <laughs> I don't know. I am a bit of a DIY woman, so I maybe found a screwdriver or something to get her. I don't know who did get you out. Was it um I think it was Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, Rachel Davis. Rachel. Yeah, yeah. Rachel. yeah. And Rachel to the rescue. Are you still, are you still proud of absolutely we are oh, of COVID nineteen health wow. workers? Ryan, Ray, listen, they 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 are getting us all through this. Wear your mask, everybody. Yes. Wear your mask. Yes. I don't care what political divide you're from. Doesn't matter. Just wear your mask. Thank I have, you. I have very <laughs> dear friends who actually are nurses and they both caught it now they both recovered but they're frontline workers but you know that's yeah. just actually thinking as well all of these all of the workers in the shops they like the essential shops like the grocery shops they were all working as well during all of it yeah. and there wasn't i was just there was a lady i was talking to today she said they didn't get the shields in until two months after the really bad time so yes protect yeah everybody you know yeah protect everybody and you know just just uh be careful out there guys you know yeah. and hopefully we'll all get back to playing for you guys live on stage sometime but in the meantime go to alex's site alex sharp official at gmail.com no alex sharp official.com I, th yes. I couldn't buy alexsharp.com because somebody else had bought that domain <laughs> and they wanted so much money for it. I'm like, mm, no, I'm the official one. So that's, oh, that's, that's so that's unfair. Good. Yeah. I've come up against yeah. that as well, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and I mean, look, you know, it's sometimes it's, it's lovely when people, when people are, you know, um, you know, support us. I mean, we would be nowhere without our family, as I call ah. um, oh, our fans. God. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I just they're they're just. Um, oh, Chris Baker has just signed up for your every, something online at your website, and yeah. <laughs> so just, and right. please show us your latest, latest crochet. Cro oh. <laughs> you know what? I I, was, I did a podcast recently. recently Bernadette, telling everybody I have during the COVID the really really extreme lockdown. I crocheted about fifty hats. So I'm actually going to be selling my hats online too. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I've and, tons of them. Oh, there's so, so many, you know, beautiful comments coming in. I can't keep up with them. Hi, Alex. I hope oh. you're staying safe. I want to check out the virtual meet and greets. I'd love to finally meet you. you so too, that Taylor. is beautiful. Yeah. You know, and, and Anne-Marie. Oh, three oh, days. Yeah. It's one, one of my students. 
Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Yeah. And she, yeah. she was on earlier on as well. And uh, Frida's, Frida's daughter, you, you teach yeah. her and you teach so many people and you're so inspiring, Alex. You're so, so inspiring. And, and I want to get you on again at some stage because I'm sure people would love to see you on again. And, you know, <laughs> when we get our Facebook working, thanks, Facebook. <laughs> So I wonder what happened, yeah. See yeah, yeah. Who who knows? You know, it's um it's supposed to be on, on YouTube and Facebook live simultaneously. But yeah. everybody, please do check out the podcast, Alex's podcast from this episode. It's going to be up tomorrow night uh on my podcast as well, and it'll be edited. So, you know, you'll have a little bit of probably screaming, you know, when we see all see Alex. <laughs> Yay! But how how long were you waiting for me? Oh, I was just, I was just gone through all the materials. So, you know, <laughs> and I was messaging you and uh, listen, the, that's what makes it fun, Alex. That's what fa makes it fun. And Neve Murphy wants to know your favorite musical theater memory. Oh, people losing wigs on stage. I'm not <laughs> to goodness. Losing or, or trying to keep a straight face. I remember doing Les Mis and somebody, their mustache was half hanging off their face. And then you'd keep straight face. I nearly wet my knickers. It was absolutely, it's, it's terrible. It's honestly, it, you know, it's like, it's terrible to have to keep it straight. And Les Mis is a serious show, you know, and you're yeah. trying to keep a straight face. I think I my, know. I mean, the, those memories, the very, the funny ones are, are absolutely, you know, they're funny, but uh, they come to the, to the mind straight away. Um, but yeah, you're both as fine. We're ready to, yeah, I, I feel awful you've given me all of this. Generous, generous praise, but like you have been, my gosh, you work so hard. You've really been so dedicated and committed. Really, Aww, like, you are thank so you. amazing. I have to tell people, sharing the stage with Marie <laughs> is an experience by she, the energy. Oh my goodness, she's she's just electricity on stage. You are. Oh, Alex, thank you, you just, so much. <laughs> I, I mean that. I, I'm, and I'm not. I, I mean it so, so sincerely. But Thank oh you. my goodness, it's just, it's just like this burst of alive electricity on <laughs> on, on the stage. It's true, apart from the ability and the talents, but just yeah, there, there's no oh. one like you. There is no one like you. There is oh, no, Alex right back at you and i love you so much and i love you for coming on here today and i know we had technical difficulties thank you for having me but listen <laughs> this i'm gonna we're gonna do this again we'll do this okay. again when we get our facebook back online so that all our friends on facebook can yeah. watch another episode of miss alex sharp <laughs> and that would be amazing if you would that would be fabulous Absolutely. and Oh, my goodness. And I just want to thank you so, so very much, Alex, for coming on and love you to bits. And oh, you thank too. you I'm for being so sorry. I... Ah, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. These things mm. happen. Technical issues happen. And mm. you know what, guys? You saw us improvising there. You saw us kind <laughs> well, of being so delighted when Alex got on. <laughs> you, you, had to, you had to hold on the four. I don't think I would have had to do a good job. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my so goodness. Good. And <laughs> Neil, <laughs> this is great. It is, Neil. It is. Yes. Okay, well, so. you, you all need to go and get 20 people to sign up to Marie's um, podcast. podcast. Yeah. And get, and get it back on Facebook. 20 people each. And then we'll get back on Facebook and hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 do that. Let's do that. And don't forget, everybody, Alex's and all the crack that you this see. My podcast is called Maraid Mondays Chats, Tunes, and Crack. crack. We had loads of crack today, so we yeah. did. And, and I, I have a picture. I must actually send it to you, Maraid. They were asking, did we do any pranks? I actually have a picture of you and Lynn in a hot tub in a oh. dressing room. And I don't know if it's a, it's a baseball team or an American football team. It was in one of the big arenas. And I got the two of you having a sneaky little dip. It, they, they are clothed, by the way, people. Yes, we do have clothes on, everybody. Yeah, they, Facebook they and YouTube would blow up if they saw that. And uh, not so much for me, but for Lynn. <laughs> no, uh, you're, a hot, you're a hottie in the hot tub, girl. I remember that night. We were so delighted to be in, in the baseball's team room and we could see all their, their big jumpers and they were huge, you know, and there was this massive hot tub or whatever it was. And I said, I said to Lynn, you know, God, 
I'm a bit exhausted. Yeah, but do we have our swan togs? Do we, will we get in before we get on the bus? We'll get in. <laughs> and I snap the pictures, and nobody's ever seen them. So you're okay. Oh my God. Nobody, no, nobody. Send them to me. They're, you see, now, look, guys, we'll promise you something. When Alex is on next, we will yeah. have those photos for you. But you have to subscribe to my yeah. podcast. <laughs> You have to, or you won't see them. These are the yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you know you guys are so funny? Oh my god, Alex, thank you so <laughs> much for being on. My goodness, I, I'm just you know, um, so delighted you you made it, and I'm so so. Uh, apologies for the technical issues no. from either either this platform or Facebook or whatever, but this was so so much fun, so <laughs> much fun, and we'll do it again. Thank you so we much, will. Alex. Take care. You mwah, mwah. Too, Love you, you too. loads. Bye, <laughs> bye, bye. This is a really lively tune. It's a slide, twelve eight, D major. It's on page eighty eight of. Kathleen Nesbitt's Fiddle Tutorial Book and CD and it's great to dance to, it's very lively. <laughs> I'm glad that everyone enjoyed that chat with Alex. I, I just had, oh my goodness, let's see. I have the mic on. Yes, that's a bonus. Um, we had such a great time um, that day and I can't wait uh, to, to perform with Alex again. It's just going to be amazing. And, um, you know, the, the link for the tickets and everything is of course on all my socials on all alex's socials do you see that qr code up there that'll bring you to all my links and it'll bring you to the live dates as well and i would love to go into comments there's been a few questions so i'd love to answer a few questions for you guys and let's get them up here i know somebody had a question here um but let's let's go let's go backwards <laughs> somebody had a question and then they said never mind um let's see um i think it was abby 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 you have a question and you're on facebook so type it in there and we'll get to it, okay? And um, so also I have a message for uh, Sinead O'Reilly that um, I know you're always here every week, Sinead, and it's just so nice. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, you were asking about um, my jewelry line and, and that is actually finished now on JTV, but I do have a few pieces. So if you want to direct message me, um, I'll, you know, get get them to you, get whatever I have to you if you're interested. Um, and let's see. So Jennifer Barry, 
Hi, Jennifer. Yes, yes, I know we have such great Irish crack. I know, I know, I know. And there's just, um, let's see, Jennifer, you had a question. Um, uh, let's see if it'll come up here, hopefully. Sometimes the platform's a little bit slow. Right, and Alex? Uh, happy, good, magical solar eclipse. Yes, and you had a question, though, about a castle, about castles. I think it was about um, were our castles as magical as as they seem in photographs? Yes, they are. They are pretty magical. And that brings me on to the next thing. In Lockmore, where it's where I'm from in Ireland, um, we are doing an amazing day. Now, it's been a year planning this for Lockmore Castle. And you know, let me get up a picture of Lockmore Castle here. It's so beautiful. And there's Lockmore Castle and it is really stunning, as you can see. And it's a ruin at the moment, but it is the seat of the Purcells of Lockmore and the Baroness of Lockmore, Catherine Purcell, is putting together um, an amazing medieval day. And my whole family are playing, including myself and our friends, a fantastic Thurless band, County Tipperary, Seskin Lane are playing and lots and lots of things happening during the day. There's, um, there's processions and there's a tour of the castle and there's um, all that the, the parcel descendants are coming from America over to Lockmore and they're uh, going to be in Lockmore for that day and also around Ireland as well and it's going to be absolutely amazing and the ticket link for that actually is on my Facebook as well Moraid Nesbitt Celtic Violinist so it's going to be an incredible day and I have um, there's a beautiful place in Lockmore where you all know it and it's called The Cottage. And my dear, dear cousin Maeve, um, who passed a week and a half ago, uh, founded that beautiful cottage that it's the Irish Times um, Tea Rooms Award. It's It's got the awards every year with the amazing Mary Forkety there. And I have an interview here with Mary and I hope you enjoy this because it really gives um, an idea of what Lockmore is all about, uh, community, music, culture, and it's on June 23rd is this day, and you'll have a fantastic time. But here, let's let's meet Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello, Maurice. How are you? We're delighted oh. to have you here at the Cottage, Maurice. And you're so good. Every time you're home, you call oh. to see us. And it's a pure honour and privilege that you call to see us. We just love seeing you. Thank you. Oh, Mary. Thanks so much, everyone. This is Mary from the, the Lockmore Cottage. And, and we have, we're, we're, we have a few. We have a little company yes, here, Yes, we have a little company here. Lockmore in the county final this coming Sunday. So these are the cottagers. And, and they're <laughs> here all week. And the smiles will go on their faces if they get tickets to the match for Sunday. Oh, so they're waiting and waiting and waiting to see what's going to happen. Oh, do you think they yeah. need a drop of tea? I think they need, yeah. might need a drop of tea. tea. They might need yeah, a drop yeah, of tea yeah. now and behave themselves <laughs> while we're speaking. Okay. Oh, Mary, you know, the, the work you've done here is absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the smiles and there's people looking at us here outside here yeah. and the smiles on everyone's faces. And the amount of awards you've you've won, the Irish Times Award, the McKenna's, multiple McKenna Guy Awards, yeah. and it's just amazing here. Yeah. yeah, well, thank you very much, Marie. Yeah. We're so proud of what we do here. Yeah. But I'd like to uh, just say that this is a community project, mm -hmm. and it was set up by the community for the community. And the concept is a lovely concept insofar as all the profits go back into the Lockmore Parish. And it's amazing to see the wheels turning. We have, it's all embracing in so far as we have people employed here from the parish we have food producers who provide the most amazing uh, food for us and uh, it's lovely to see everybody involved we have people young kids come in to do their work experience yeah. we have volunteers we have people with special needs who come to yeah. work with us yeah. so it's just magic really what happens here at the cottage it is magic mary because every time we we come down and, and of course as i always say it's my favorite place to come every time oh. i'm back and um, it's 
you know, the food from the local farmers That's it. And, and just everybody, you know, bringing in their local produce and, uh, as I said, a community project, it's just beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much, Marita. And there's nothing like something that's homemade. That's and that's right. for sure. That's and right. like, uh, it's lovely to get the lovely fresh lettuces, the lovely fresh vegetables, and all our food is fresh and local within a five mile radius of this building. So that is just, uh, it's wonderful for everybody who comes in to enjoy food with us. It is wonderful, Mary. And you listen, you're just across the road from Lockmore Castle and down the road from the mill. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful location. Yes, it's location, 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 <laughs> that's for sure. And we have a lovely little cottage. This was just an old cottage and we renovated it recently. And we uh, just very lovingly restored the interior of it in uh, keeping it in the old style and with the half door and people love the half door and the iconic photograph is of course the one of the half door but we built on then a modern little sunroom out the back and we extended we provided car parking for people mm -hmm. so it's really in a wonderful location all you have to do is walk out this gate to your left you have the mill and the castle up the road you have the historic mccormick monument the village is just has come alive yeah. it's the heartbeat of the village really mm -hmm. this is and like the builder said to us when he was doing the job, he says, I'm giving it its body, but the community has given it its soul. That's so, and that's true. true. It's true. The, uh, the atmosphere here is always so lovely and welcoming and heartwarming food. And you couldn't ask for more. You couldn't ask for more. And you're absolutely right. The community is the soul yeah. of, of it. And, yeah. and also you hosted uh, in, in previous years as well, Culture Night with Kathleen Nesbitt and all the music yes, here. Yes, we did. And, and, and it's fabulous and it's uh, on again tonight as well. Yes. And, you know, it's, uh, Mary, you're always uh, so welcoming to everyone. Everyone, you know, they know they can come here and and just hold the most beautiful events and, oh. and, and, and just sit down and have a lovely cup of tea and coffee and, and that lovely apple tart that you have. Uh, thank you, Marie. <laughs> but we love people yeah. and that, I suppose, is what is it shines out here at the cottage, yeah. every member of the staff here. We love to see people coming and they always get the warmest welcome and we hope they leave feeling better. No yeah. matter how they feel coming in, they'll feel better going yeah. away. Yeah. And that's what we love to do. And it's just so good for everybody, for the whole parish. And we hope that it'll continue for many, many years into the future, that yeah. this facility will be here and not more. We were so suffering from rural isolation and the lack of services mm. a few years ago and this has brought everything to life you couldn't come up the village seven years ago and you wouldn't see a car and now it's, it's life it's, it's wonderful it's it just is, wonderful it is wonderful and yeah. it, at this time especially mary it's absolutely yeah. amazing that people can sit outside on a beautiful day you yeah. have the most beautiful wrought iron tables out here and the gorgeous yeah. um uh, seating and the back in the sunroom yeah. and you know, no mat needed outside, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's and I just want to yeah. thank you so much, thank Mary, you, again for 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 being on and saying thank hi you. to hi everybody. everybody. <laughs> hi everybody. Um, I follow you every Monday night, and oh, I've been following goodness. you every Monday night, oh. and it's uh, just a pleasure to see you. And the whole yeah. parish of Lockmore is so proud of you, Marie. Oh. So proud of you and all you have achieved. You're a wonderful ambassador for not only Lock, for Lockmore, but for everywhere you go, America, no matter where you are. Yeah. And we just feel so honoured to even know you. So oh, thank you very look, much. Mary, thank, thank you. you so much for, for being on and, and bringing us uh, to this, this part of thank paradise. You. Thank brilliant. you very much. Thanks, thank Mary. You. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's just so nice to talk to Mary at that time. And the, the cottage in Lockmore is going to be one of the big venues as well. I mean, it's so beautiful. Um, so many people um, love it. It, it. it is so incredible. And um, I'm just going to go through the comments. Looks like an amazing place. It is. It's an amazing place. And um, this is from Tiffany Neil Grover. Let's go in June. <laughs> Maybe she can be our tour guide between with the personal event. Oh, that's very tempting. That's very tempting. <laughs> yes, yes, Tiffany, that would be amazing. Neil, yes. Well, of course, you know that has to happen. We have to. We have to have a tour of Ireland. That would be amazing, and we have to have a few tunes as well. But there's only one you know, uh, condition though, you have to bring your spoons. 
because you have to play that and <laughs> that'd be funny um Oh, this is amazing. The cottage looks like the most beautiful place in the world. It is, it is. And, and we have Roger, please describe your daily exercise program. I do a program every morning for it's only 15 minutes, 15 minutes, not five zero. <laughs> and it is, um, it's, it's really a combination of yoga and Pilates and it's just for 15 minutes. And I do that every morning. That's all I do. And then I go for a walk. <laughs> are you planning to be performing in sydney australian raid well not planning at the moment but yeah we'd love to go over there if you have any connections and of course so go onto my website and um maybe just add in a request there um on bands in town on live dates or you know to my agent ed keen in boston so uh uh Thank you, Jennifer. I love getting messages from you. Thank you so much. And um, so there, let's see, let's see if there's any more questions here. Will you be performing this year with the Scarf School in Utah? I will. Yes, I will. And we might be able to get Alex. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So that would be amazing. Um, we are hoping, it's not up yet, but we are hoping that maybe it will be in August maybe the end of August sometime. So I hope that answers your question. Um, another person here says, oh, oh that's fantastic. Oh, I'd love to go to the cottage. I, I, yeah, I, I love it there. And uh, Justin, Justin O'Donnell. Hi, Justin. Justin Donnell. I have the Irish version, O'Donnell. Sorry, Justin. Um, if, you, if you could be my tour guide in Ireland, where would you take me first? Ooh, that's a tough one now. That's a tough one, Justin. Um, obviously, if you're flying into Dublin, you'd have to do Dublin first. That would be a great, great thing to do. And there's this brilliant, brilliant thing um, called the tea, tea Room Tours. I think it's um, the Tea Tours. And it is brilliant i'll have a little clip from that next week for you so you can have a look tony says hi marie great show tonight any plans to perform here in the uk not at the moment but again we'd love to we'd love to celtic spells would love to go over there it would be great um another question which castle is in the background there it is lockmore castle lockmore castle and that is what we were talking about about the personal picnic and that is going to be amazing. And um, it is going to raise funds for the renovation of Lockmore Castle, along with the amazing uh, OPW, which uh, really preserves old buildings in Ireland. And so that is really fantastic stuff. Um, so we're we're just hoping there'll be loads of people there and it's it's so reasonable. It's only 20 euro for a ticket and all children under 16 get in free. So and it's all outdoors. It's so beautiful. Um, will be lots of different things going on, different activities, our pipe band. We're going to have mass. We're going to be going down to the old abbey uh, to have mass there and also in the church and also do a tour of Lockmore Castle. And then we have the big concert and lots of music during the day as well. We've lunch that's in there as well. So it's going to be incredible. It's going to be a great day. I love it. Oh, Neil, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Jennifer, let's see, Jennifer. Um, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It's always lovely to get lovely uh, messages from you. Um, so if there's, let's see, um, I will let you get your questions in order. And please don't sign off because I'm going to put a tiny little thing, please don't, from my shop. Guys, I have to put something up from my shop because I like to eat now and again. It's always a good idea. <laughs> so please, please, please have a look at this. Check out this QR code here. Point your camera at that and have a look. And I would love you to have a look at this. It's it's cool. It's really, really nice. And um, I know nobody likes um, people selling too much online and stuff, but I'm Irish. I wouldn't know how to hard sell anything. 
So we always apologize for everything. So, <laughs> but anyway, here is something from my shop and just point your cameras at the QR. This tune is a jig and it's called Vanish Misfortune and it's on page 43 of my mother Kathleen Nesbitt's fiddle tutorial and CD and I hope you like it. Oh my goodness. Hey, really good. Is it Bucket Nail there? That was, you know your music. So you do. The Gravel Walks is right. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to, to give you um, just um, a few behind the scenes there because um, it's really important when you're getting a show together. It's actually really, really important to, to show the behind the scenes as well. And um i would don't forget 
guys, you know, to share this live stream as well. I should have said that at the beginning, but thanks, Tiffany Moore, for, for having that up there. I had it up in the comments. Anyway, so the gravel walks. Yes, yes, you are right. Yes, the gravel walks. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And um, uh, that's uh, thank you so much for saying lovely music and lovely comments. Love your music, Moray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see if there's any questions. Hi, I can only imagine now, but I'd love to see you. You and Charlie Daniels <gasps> play the violin. Yeah, play the fiddle. I know. Would have been that, that absolutely uh, a great, great fiddler. How often do you go back to Ireland? Well, I go back as often as I can. I really, really do. And um, I, I love, I love getting home. I love getting home. Um, love your music, Murray. Thank you so much. Let's see. Um, how are we doing the questions? Um, oh, we had that up already. I think the, the, the platform is kind of doubling back on the questions. Let's see. Nice items, Murray, in your shop. Thank you so much because a lot of people last week did not like me showing things from my shop. <gasps> There's the code. <laughs> well, look, thank you so much, everyone. I First of all, I do, I do want to say a massive thank you to everybody on my Patreon. Um, and just, they are absolutely incredible. Um, Patreon is a platform that I, I reply to everybody personally, and there's three tiers. There's Celtic Spells, Hibernia, and um, the Butterfly tiers, and it's just amazing. Again, it's one of uh, lots and lots of stuff on my website that you can have a look at, and there's lots of things there. And I, this show has been longer than usual, so I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'd love to um, just see if there's any more questions here. And uh, no, I don't think so. Let's see. Um, I'm going <laughs> to go back here and say hi to a lot of people. I have a question. That was Abby. So, Abby, you didn't get back with your question. Oh, uh, Alex, it was great. So, again, it's on our socials. It's on our websites. All the the uh, ticket links are there on Bands in Town. If you go to my website, maraidnesbitt.com, or go to that link. See the QR code there? Point your camera at that baby there. And I would love to um, set up now for last tune of the day. And I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes for Celtic Spells. We have dates for next year in March and we're working on some dates on the East Coast and also the West Coast. So keep an eye out on my website and on all my socials. And I'm going to be live on TikTok and Instagram pretty much um, pretty, pretty often in the next while. So I hope you'll enjoy this coming up. It'll be up in a minute. As usual, I love to end with a beautiful tune on the viola and this week's beautiful air is called Brugh na Caragabana and it's on page 43 of my mother Kathleen Nesbitt's fiddle tutorial and CD and it is really beautiful. Uh, I remember uh, fond memories of Seamus Begley, God rest him, and Steve Cooney um, doing beautiful versions of this song, um, my favourite version really, and I'll give it a go on the viola, I hope you like it, and I'll see you next week.